I'm thankful to be here. Uh, thank you, thankful for the conference and its leadership, uh, especially uh, Commissioner Yomark and uh, all the things that he's doing to continue to keep our league at the forefront of college basketball. Uh, I'm looking forward to the season, like everybody else, I'm sure. And, um, you know, really excited about our group. It's a very, very different group than we've had. Uh, probably the youngest team I've, I've ever had at Oklahoma State. Uh, in terms of having as many freshmen as we do, but I, I do like the balance that we have because we have some experienced guys who've been through this league, but other guys who've, who've also had experience in college basketball and other places. So, uh, looking forward to seeing how much we can get better from you know the start of the season a few weeks ago to you know where, whenever we uh, hang our jerseys up for the last time at the end. Okay, if you've got a question, uh, raise your hand and we'll get one of our wireless mics to you. Got one here in the middle on the fourth row. Hey, Coach Isaac Trotter, twenty-four seven. Was it intentional to to target freshmen for this roster construction? I mean, the Big Twelve is really old this year. You guys have some of the most freshmen, and you know, compared to the rest of the, the rest of the league. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I think we've always been pretty intentional about you know who being who we are. Um, and believing in the, the foundation of our program being about development. Um, so I, I don't want to say we were specifically more intentional this year than in any other previous years. Uh, we've always been really aggressive in the recruiting space through the high school realm. Uh, we'll continue that because I truly believe that we're still about making people better. I think our track record of development has been pretty good. Uh, and it'll continue to be that. Now, we are also very aware um, that more experienced teams have had more success here in college basketball recently. So we're trying to strike a good balance. Uh, that's why in the spring we did go into the portal and seek some guys who could fill some, some spots that we thought were needed. Uh, and we were able to identify some guys that we really felt uh, filled a need in areas that, you know, we thought would make our team better, help the freshmen come along, but also give us a chance to compete uh, and what's the most competitive conference in the country. And so the three guys we got late, uh, and Javon Small, Jarius Hicklin, and, and Mike Marsh are all you know, guys who played many, many college basketball games. Um, Mike Marsh and Jarius Hicklin both being fifth-year guys, uh, and Javon being a two-year two starter at point guard already. So um, I think you know, we'll continue you know, to, to recruit aggressively at the high school level, uh, but we do know that you got to you know, find some – some balance in the portal, but it's got to be the right guys. You know, I, I truly believe that fit is still the most important thing. Uh, so you can find yourself in a tough spot if you get the wrong uh, guys out of the portal as well. Coach, we're going to go here to the middle, about the fourth row back. Yeah, my, uh, Blair Kirkhoff with the Kansas City Star. Could, could you tell us a little bit more about Javon? And, and he had a leg injury that ended the season. How does that stand? Uh, he's still working his way back to full health uh, with regard to that. But, um, you know, we, we ran all the, the, the tests and, and did all the background on his ability to get back to full strength. Uh, we were able to see him some this summer uh, play with us on our trip. Um, he's an impact player. Uh, he's a guy that we believe can, can really be one of the best point guards in our league, uh, can be a guy who really sets the tone for what our team can ultimately be, get, be at the end uh, in terms of making the game easier for his teammates. He takes great pride uh, in being a guy who facilitates, uh, gets other guys good shots, takes care of basketball, but he also has the ability to score himself. So a very confident player, but he also has a level of humility that allows him to be embraced by his teammates because he knows it's not just about him. Uh, and his own personal goals, but you know, winning is a very, very high priority for him. Our next question will be on your left, Coach, about the third row back. Hey, Mike, Danny Davis, the Austin American Statesman. Just wonder if I could get your thoughts on just how competitive you think this conference is going to be with the new additions that y'all got. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's crazy to think that I'm doing this for the seventh time now as head coach. Uh, seemed like the time has really flown by. Um, I've enjoyed every minute of it, but. The, the competition is a real thing. Uh, it's, it's been baptism by fire for me as head coach. It's my first head coaching job when I was 35 years old. Um, and the league continues to get better. Uh, I think the new teams, uh, all four this year, and then the ones we add moving forward, will continue to elevate this conference above you know 
what I ever imagined would be one conference's strength. Um, we're going to get away from the double round robin, which I'm not necessarily upset about because you know it was really a gauntlet um, going through this league. It'll continue to be. It's just that maybe you don't have to go to every place every year like you used to. Uh, uh, you still play everybody, but um, the league is going to be as strong as it's ever been. Um, and I think this year, you know, you'll come in and really not really know who who's going to finish. I think we all have assumptions on what the order finished. I saw the, the, the predictions out. I think it's less um, predictable now in college sports to do that than ever before because of the roster turnover everywhere. Uh, but the league in general is going to be really, really good as it always has been.